Frederick County's rich history is built from farming, hence the farmer in the middle of the Frederick County seal. For many decades, local farmers have been attracting visitors to their farm through entertainment and education. These agritourism operations have been growing since then, and community members notice that pre-existing agritourism laws need to be updated. County Executive Jessica Fitzwater heard the calling for renovating agritourism in the county and created an agritourism work group. This work group really came out of concerns that I and others have heard from small business owners and farmers in the community, really wanting to make sure that we are being responsive to the innovation that's happening in, ag in agriculture and agritourism right now. And so wanting to make sure we have a public process and a opportunity to get all of the big ideas out on the table. What are the opportunities and the challenges? You know, where are the county's um, regulations working and where perhaps are we creating an undue barrier where we shouldn't be to make sure that this industry can continue to thrive. It's such an incredible part of our rich history and our bright future, and we want to make sure that it's working for Frederick County's farmers. Currently, Frederick County has an agritourism enterprise uh, zoning definition um, that is pretty broad. That includes education, pick your own, cut your own activities. Um, and so this could aim, you know, when it was started, it really was meant to include uh, corn mazes and pumpkin patches, what we saw in the fall. However, it's grown tremendously since then. There's also um, regulations with the state and the health department that farms must abide by. So the existing laws for agritourism in our zoning ordinance um, were actually passed by the county commissioners. There's definitely been a lot of changes uh, since these regulations were put into place. We have a much larger number of farms participating in agritourism. Frederick County actually has the most agritourism operations in the state as defined by the U.S. Census of Agriculture. Not only do we have more, but we've seen different types of operations. The agritourism work group consists of 14 members. We have 12 members of our agritourism committee. Uh, they represent a diverse group of farmers throughout the county and industry groups that represent agriculture. We also have two council members that are sitting on our work group. Uh, council Member Carter and Council Member Donald. Both of them represent areas that have a lot of agritourism and both are very interested in the subject. They'll meet once a month to have recommendations to the county executive by December 1st. Frederick County residents take pride in their farms and the family fun activities that go along with it. Agritourism in the county is what makes Frederick County. Frederick County has always really valued our agricultural industry and what our beautiful farms bring to our county. But what happened during COVID-19 is I think people got even more of a realization of what it means to have food grown locally, what it means to be outdoors and appreciate the beautiful landscapes and the nature that Frederick County has to offer. And that really even reinvigorated an interest in agriculture. And so being able to respond to that with new and different ways to invite people onto farms and to have agritourism be a part of what makes a farm a thriving business that's only continued to grow and change over the past few years and so this work group is a great way for us to revisit what we're already doing and look at ways where we can be more innovative and be a stronger partner with our farmers. The agritourism work group hopes to shape the future of agritourism and to preserve Frederick County's history. The goal of the work group is to really get all of the ideas out on the table. I think that's how we can make the best decisions. We can be the most collaborative and recognize that everyone brings their own experience and expertise to the table. So we're going to get the ideas out there, talk about what's working, talk about what we could be doing even more or better with. And then by the end of the work group, have some recommendations, some that might be policy, some that might be legislation, and hopefully have an opportunity to get those out into time for action to be taken before the next agritourism season comes around next year. It's our job to make sure that we're protecting the public health, safety, and welfare, while also being responsive to the changing industry and making sure that the farmers that are here, some of our biggest and, and thriving small business owners, are able to keep that going for our community, not just for their own families, but also for our economy and for the rich history of Frederick County.